Hi, this is John Krause with California Quirks, and welcome to this edition of Zip Sips. Today we're going to take a little journey to the San Francisco Bay. We're going to visit, uh, well actually we're going to just try the wines for Treasure Island Wines Sauv Blanc. Now this is a 2018 Pine Mountain Sauvignon Blanc. It's fermented in stainless steel and it sparkles with acidity and the result is the wine exhibits uh, a lot of citrus and tropical uh, fruit and flavors. Um, I was picking up pineapple in addition as the wine started to warm up. Um, serve it really chilled, really good and cold out of the fridge to enjoy it best. Uh, to those that have not tasted Sauvignon Blanc, well, it's a white wine and it owes much of its popularity to winemakers in France in the Lorraine Valley. As a, as a white wine though, Sauvignon Blanc uh, tastes much different than wine, white wines that you might be familiar with if you haven't had a Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, for example, maybe you're a Chardonnay drinker. Well, it tastes different. Uh, it exhibits more green herbaceous flavors. Uh, while not every Sauvignon Blanc will display exactly the same bouquet or the same flavors, there are some uh, identifying aromas and flavors that you can detect in most Sauvignon Blancs. For example, lime, a green apple, passion fruit, or even stone fruit you can detect in the wine. Now, depending on how ripe the fruit is and when it was harvested, crushed, the resulting flavors will range from zesty lime, we mentioned earlier, all the way to flowery peach. You can even detect, though, at times, bell pepper, maybe even jalapeno, uh, or but definitely uh, often it's a grassiness that you pick up. Uh, most Sauvignon Blanc wines are made completely dry, though uh, some winemakers in California have been uh, leaving a gram or two of sugar, residual sugar in the uh, wine to add to, to the texture, make it a richer texture. Now, Treasure Island Wines is a unique urban winery, right smack dab in the middle of the San Francisco Bay. And uh, it's, it's nice because they have a small collective of some independent winemakers that are uh, micro boutique wineries. And uh, it's nice because the attitudes of each of those that uh, participate at uh, Treasure Island Wines focus not just on the wines themselves, but the experience of the wine, or experiencing the wine itself. Treasure Island Winery was the first operational winery and tasting room on this former U.S. naval base on the island of Treasure Island. That's again, right smack dab in the middle of San Francisco Bay. Jim Morawski, the owner and the winemaker there, along with his team, uh, keep their goals simple. Their goal is to create a place where skilled wine craft makers can come and join them, but also uh, he produces some excellent wines himself. Uh, while you won't find a vineyard on the island, no matter how, how, how hard you look, uh, the winery is really strategically located. Uh, it's centrally located between Napa and Sonoma, uh, the Sierra foothills, and Monterey and, and the rest of the central coast. So it, makes it easy for him to get, bring fruit into the winery, uh, some of the best fruit from different areas to produce some excellent wines there at Treasure Island. So this was Treasure Island's 2018 Pine Mountain Sauvignon Blanc. Be sure to tell Jim Morawski that John at California Cork said hi, and I'll sure give you a little extra TLC when you go in there, but if you can get a hold of this, by all means give it a try. Again, that's John Krause with California Corks. This was Zip Sips. Please visit us at www.cacorks.com and go to our blog section and you'll find a number of videos for a wine tasting that I've done as well. And I, I encourage you to come take a look at them. Sign up for our email as well and we'll keep you informed of things that are going on here in California when it comes to wine. Again, John Krause, California Corks. See you next time on Zip Sips.